Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is officially November, Halloween is gone, and as far as I'm concerned, it is more than appropriate to start talking about Christmas. Pretty late at night, so I'm just kind of uh, in lazy attire, but I knew if I didn't film this video today, then I wouldn't get to it because I am so ready to decorate for Christmas. And today's video is a haul of all the decorations I recently bought from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so last Friday, I went to the Dollar Tree to get a couple things for Halloween to put on my door for the trick-or-treaters. And my eye immediately went over to the Christmas section. It was just glittery and beautiful and calling my names. I was just amazed by all of the items that were there. I did not expect to have such a good experience and success buying decor at a dollar store. So I'm excited to show you what I got. Before I dive into my haul, I have some footage of all of the display items at the Dollar Tree. So, so here we're gonna take a little break and go shopping and then I'll come back and show you what I bought. Okay, so I'm excited to dig in and just go through all the items I bought. <laughs> There's a lot of things there. I had to be very selective just because I'm not trying to be over cluttered. But I have a lot of decor that I can show you and let's get started. First of all, this bag is filled with one item. <laughs> this ornament, it's a snowflake ornament. I love the rhinestone, the sparkle. It looks like, I think the base is styrofoam, but then it has really pretty rhinestone accents on it. So it is shimmery, glittery, beautiful. And I plan to hang these on my window. So I bought a lot of them. One, two, three, four. There's a lot. 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I got 12 of them to test out. I bought like an entire row, and then when I was catching out, I told the guy, sorry, I cleaned you out. And he said, nope, there's more coming. So I might have to go back and get some more, depending on how these look. But I have a vision for my main living room. I have a ton of windows, basically um three of the four walls in my living room are windows so i want to hang multiple snowflakes so this is 12 12 of these and then i bought for a dollar 12 little window hooks or suction cups that will stick hopefully to the window so i'm going to test this out and I will be doing a full Christmas home tour. So hopefully you'll see these on here and I'll let you know how they work. Well, this isn't really Christmassy, but I did get two sponges. I am gonna be doing a full cleaning, like a deep cleaning before I decorate just so that it's like spick and span and ready to sparkle for Christmas. <laughs> so I did need some sponges, so that's what I got. And then I have some mistletoe. I got these 18 red 
decorative bows. I have like light fixture, fixtures on the ceiling and I wanted to kind of put little bows up on each individual light as well and I thought that this would be something cute to try out. So. Then I got some Christmas cookie cutters. Let's see, I already broke into them because I needed the star for something I was doing, a project. But it comes for cookie cutters for a dollar. I got the star, the bell, gingerbread man, a snowman, a stocking, and a candy cane. So let's see, that's six for a dollar. And I think that's well worth it for Christmas cookies and um, even some salt dough ornaments that I'm making, some cinnamon dough ornaments, so I am all about it. <laughs> then I really like these. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use them for yet, but they are glittered foam shapes and these are a um, gingerbread man. So they're really sparkly. They're in the packaging still, but you can see that they're all glittery. And um, I think I want to put these in my kitchen. <laughs> I got this for my husband. This is a Santa stress ball for him to uh, <laughs> for him to use because I'm sure with all the Christmas shopping I've done, he's probably a little stressed. But it's all for a good cause. And this year, I do have to admit that I've purchased a lot more decor than ever before. But my reasoning is because we have a brand new house. We have so much more space than we've ever had. I have a baby now, so I needed to kind of also cater to, you know, a cute, whimsical sense of Christmas. Um, so yeah, I needed more decor. Every room in my house, I have like a different theme idea, so... Oh, I can't wait to see it all come together. But yes, I did buy a lot, but I don't feel guilty about the things I bought at the Dollar Tree because they're good. It's really cute stuff, and it did not spend a lot of money in the grand scheme of things. If I bought all this stuff at a different store, the bill would have been way up there. Okay, this bag is filled with just some random stuff. Um, I got this cute little plush Santa and a plush little little penguin. One of my rooms I kind of want to make it seem like Santa's workshop so very child friendly like fun you know magical Christmas. So I have these but I'm gonna um, what you'll probably see in another video I'm assuming I'll film it. I am starting a new tradition of creating like a thankful box with little gifts and stuff in it for my family to open uh, the night that we decorate our Christmas tree or Thanksgiving night. I'm trying to figure out which. But these will go in there for um, my daughter and my dog will probably play with one too. <laughs> this is a cute little poinsettia decorative just um, stem and I have a few places in my house where I'm going to put these stems. So I got this one I think I just got two of them just to test it out first, but they have a lot there, so I might go back and get some more depending on how it looks. I got some cupcake holders with a cute little Christmas tree. And then I got some treat bags with little Santa face on them, so when I do make cookies and baked goods, I can send them off to people in these cute bags. But I love this glitter Christmas tree. I know exactly where I'm going to put this, so it was perfect, and it was only a dollar, so I couldn't resist. It's really cute with little gems, snowflakes, sparkly. I love it. And similar is this Santa sleigh. So really cute, sparkly. I know where I want it to stand in my living room as well. This is for Ariel. She loves her rubber ducky. So I got a Santa one for her. <laughs> this is a Believe ornament. Really pretty. I have a room that I picture doing more traditional Christmas, like the reason for the season kind of a feel. Um, more earthy colors, but of course I need some sparkles. So I like that this is like that brown copper color. I got the matching ornament in, that says Peace as well. It's 
hard to tell in this, but this says peace. And I love the, just the green, the greenery and the red, there's red berries and a bow. I just think it's really traditional Christmas. Some containers and things that I got. I'm gonna show you really quick because my camera's about to die. But I got this tin. It has Santa, reindeer, penguin. It's really cute. So that's great for baking. And it's one of those things that you don't feel bad if you leave it at somebody's house because it's only a dollar. So I'm all for that. This is a cute little tin mailbox or lunch box. Little tin lunch box. I just thought it's cute. Wine is always a go-to gift for me. So I got this really cute wine box for a dollar. And I just think it adds a special touch for when you're giving somebody a bottle of wine. I got a set of three boxes. And the first one, it's snowflakes. Then there is a Christmas tree. And I don't know what's going to be inside the middle one. But <laughs> these are three boxes which always come in handy for when you need a gift box for wrapping. And I got these two trays. I'm hoping to do a lot of baking. So I just thought they were really cute. Oops, sorry, I have this one upside down. So this is Santa, the reindeer, and the penguin. It has the same pattern as that lunchbox I showed you a moment ago. And then this tray is three little snowmen. It's the last thing I have to show you, which I think is so adorable, is this little mailbox. It says Santa Claus, Santa's Workshop, North Pole. I mentioned how I'm doing kind of like a Santa's Workshop, North Pole theme in one of my rooms. So I thought this was super cute. You can put little notes in there and cards and this year Ariel's too young but I picture in the future having like little secret messages going in there um, or when we get cards in the mail. Thanks for watching my Dollar Tree Christmas haul. Happy with all my purchases. I can't wait to see how they look up on my walls and in my different display areas. And I'm just really excited about the Christmas season. It's my first time having my baby, my baby daughter around for the holidays. So I'm really excited for her first Christmas. And I plan to have a lot of holiday content coming up. So if the holidays and Christmas are your thing, like they're my thing, please subscribe to my channel because I'm going to have a lot more content coming up soon. And thank you for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next video.